Welcome to 500 Easy, the achievements guide that shows you the shortest path between you and 500 more Xbox Live achievement points. Today we're going to take a look at Forza Motorsport 4. In this game you could spend a lot of time chipping away at the career mode, grinding levels, and finishing out years in your season to get those achievements, but there's loads of stuff you can do along the way to build up that score. The first thing you'll want to do is import your Forza 3 save file. Doing that will net you some great gift cars and a 15 point achievement. From there, the game puts you behind the wheel of a Ferrari in the Bernese Alps. You get 15 points for this one, regardless of how you finish. From there, you'll begin your career mode and start building up your driver level, receiving award cars, and completing race seasons. The game grades you on everything you do behind the wheel, handing out achievements for perfect turns, clean passes, drafting behind an opponent, and just driving at top speed. We had a tough time nailing that perfect drift for another 15 points, but maybe you won't. Early on, the career mode introduces you to Top Gear Bowling. Make sure you hit one of those gold pins out there for big points and also a 5 point achievement. Further along, you'll compete in autocross challenges. Do 10 of these without bonking a cone and you'll get 10 additional points. Now let's take a break from the career mode and explore some of the game's social features and the treasure trove of achievements found within. Take some time to paint up a car. Either make your 10,000 layer masterpiece or just slap a Sasquatch vinyl on the side of a beater. Either way, you'll get 10 points. Then take that beauty and snap some photos in each of the game's home locations to get the on-location achievement for another 20 points. Go into car tuning, let some air out of the tires, and then save it to a file to get the Grease Monkey achievement for another 10. Then put that tuning file in the storefront and sucker a buddy into buying it for an additional 10. Take some of those badges and titles you've earned along the way and make up a custom player card. Bam! Another 10. Next, jump into the auction house and seal the deal on one of those unicorn car auctions. Another 10 points and a sweet new ride is all yours. Form a car club for another 15 points and share that unicorn car with your team of one. Or be stingy and let them drive that Sasquatch mobile. Either way, another 10 points is yours. One of the game's new modes is called Auto Vista. It's a great way to explore the fine details of a select few cars in the game, and a great way to pick up another 10 points. Just make sure you check out every single information note that you see. Keep checking the message center and eventually you'll get the daily rewards achievement for another 5 points. Jump into Rivals mode and beat some poor sucker's time for the Rivals shootout achievement and another 10 points. It's probably because he's using that flat tire tuning file you sold him, but hey, buyer beware. Rub it in their face by uploading a movie of your victory to the Forza storefront for another 10. Or just put up a reel of your failed drift attempts. We're not here to judge. Finally, we'll jump into some quick races to knock out some specific achievements. Get the legendary battle achievement for 15 points by picking the Ford GT40 as your ride. Pick the old circuit at Le Mans to keep it classy, but just make sure you finish first. Speaking of the old Le Mans circuit, jump into a Bugatti Veyron and cane it down the Molson Strait to get the Speed Demon achievement for another 10. Next, pick out the DeLorean and go find somewhere straight enough to get it to 88 miles an hour for the Out of Time achievement. After that, head to the Top Gear test track in your Kia C apostrophe D for a hot lap on the full circuit. For full authenticity, paint the car red, insist that it's a shade of brown, and complete the lap to get the star in a reasonably priced car achievement for another 10 points. And then finally, dust off that old Kinect sensor and use it to drive any car in free play mode. I wish I got 5 achievement points every time I look that ridiculous. From these achievements alone, you should be well upon your way to getting 500 points. Keep plugging away at the career mode, and as you rise in level and finish out each season, your score will just build and build. At each level you'll be gifted a new car, but try to pick out the Ferraris. There's a 40 point achievement for collecting all of them in the game. We hope this has been a valuable feature to you. Please let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next game.